Twas brilling in the slidey toves, the jar and jimble in the wave. All mimsy were the borough groves, and moaned the rats out grave. Beware the jabberwock, my son, the jaws that bite, the claws that catch. Beware the jub jub bird, and shun the frumious bander snatch. He took his vorpal sword in hand, long time the maxim foe he soot. So rested he by the tum tum tree, and stood a while in thought. And as in uffish thought he stood, the jabberwock with eyes of flame came whiffing through the toby wood and burbled as it came. One, two, one, two. And through and through the vorpal blade went snicker snack. He left it dead, and with its head he went the lumping back. And hath thou slayed the jabberwock? Come to my arms, my beamish boy. O oh, Frabja's day, Kalu Kalay, he chortled in his joy. Twas brilling and the slidey toes, the jar and jimble in the wave. Of Nimsy were the borrow girls, and moaned the rats out grave. When I first heard this poem, I thought it was nonsense. Upon further inspection, I discovered that it was about a father giving advice to his son. In the end, the son was victorious due to the advice the father gave. This is like me, because my dad gives me advice all the time, but I think it is nonsense all the time. When I have heeded his advice, I am always victorious. His advice sounds like a kind of code. If I ever did fight the Jabberwocky, I would want lots of advice. And a sword. My dad gives me advice that sounds like a kind of code. Like, don't look a gift horse in the mouth. As you can see, that's one out of two advices that are up here. These are the two most helpful advices that I've got. Don't look a gift horse in the mouth, and make yourself known to those who can help you, not to those who can hurt you. Both these advice sound like a kind of code, but if I, you think about them, they make sense, and when you heed them, you are always victorious. People give me advice of all types, kinds that are cryptic, kinds that will help me out in a social life, kinds that will help me out in school, and some that are thinking too far ahead. Advice. I don't think I could have gotten far without it. I don't think the guy in the poem could have gotten far without it either. He might have thought the Jabberwocky was a cute little animal and tried to pet it if his dad hadn't told him to beware of it. Because if he had petted it, the Jabberwocky would have bit his head off and killed him. I am glad that the people I know will give me advice when I need it. Twas brilling in the slithy toves, the jar and jimble in the wave. All mimsy were the borrow groves, and moan the rats out grave. Beware the jabberwock, my son, the jaws that bite, the claws that catch. Beware the jub jub bird, and shun the frumious bander snatch. He took his warble sword in hand, long time the maxim foe he soot. So rested he by the tum tum tree, and stood a while in uffish thought. And as in uffish thought he stood, the jabberwock with eyes of flame came whiffing through the togi wood and burbled as it came. One, two, one, two, and through and through the vorpal blade went snicker snack. He left it dead, and with its head he went galumping back. And hast thou slayed the jabberwock? Come to my arms, my beamish boy. O oh, Frabja's day, Kalu Kale, chortled in his joy. Twas brilling in the slithy toves, the jar and jimble in the wave. A mimsy were the borough groves, and moan the rafts out grave. Hi, Hank. Hi, Bob. Wait, wait. What is that thing? It's a Jabberwocky! <gasps>